Hi, this is part 8 of compression and decompression. Here we will be seeing about video image compression. So the development of digital video technology has made it possible to use digital video compressions for a variety of purposes. So we need when we have digital uh, video, digital audio, digital images, we need to compress that also. Anyhow, the purpose is the same for less storage, less uh, easy transmission, less transmission cost, etc. So here also we need to have standardization of compression algorithms for video. It was first initiated by again the CCITT for teleconferencing and video telephony. So, what are the requirements? So, applications if you see using MPEG standards, we have symmetric and asymmetric. So, symmetric applications, they require the use of equal use of compression and uh, decompression, right? It requires online input devices like cameras, scanners, microphones, anything for your videos and audios. Asymmetric, they require compression only. So, this application requires frequent decompression, right? They do not require any online input devices. So, in addition to video and audio compressions, we have a playback of a video clips and sound clips. So, what are the issues that have to be addressed? So, the MPEG standards has identified these following issues where we have to address. So, we will be seeing one by one, right? Random access. First, what is VCR? Actually, random access, if you see, it uses VCR plus CD-ROM technology uh, to give the user an index information and also to access information randomly. This is the purpose of your random access. So, what is VCR? It is a video completion rate and it is measured at which are the digital video impressions play to 100%. That is your VCR. So, here this random access means information contains referential access points and information is, uh, is coded sequentially. And there is no need to backtrack the storage media. Next point is VCR paradigm. So, this consists of functions like fast forward, rewind, search and all that. Right? Fast forward, rewind, search forward, rewind, search, everything. So, next is audio video synchronization. This is actually very, very easy. The synchronization is easy when the signals are moving in the forward direction and we have sufficient bandwidth available and also we have the support of media for transmission. So, here what happens is synchronization uh, when it comes to uh, uh, higher speeds, it becomes more complex. <coughs> so, at that time, uh, that is high speed, uh, when, when we need syn uh, synchronization at high, high speeds is, right, when we are going for search forward or rewind search, during these uh, times, we need synchronization at high speeds, but it is more complex. Said so, multiplexing multi compressed audio video bit streams. So, here what happens? You have to multiplex multiple audio and video bit streams, and these bit streams are retrieved from different storage center on a network. So, what have this you have to done, you have to do it in a very smooth manner. You have to have the combinations in a very smooth manner and you should not have jumpy screens. So, these are what we are dealing with with the issues to be addressed. Then editability. It is an activity that requires cutting and pasting of messages. It is very easy cut paste what we have in even in Microsoft Word and all that. But here messages to make it a new report. Okay. So, we should be able to do this for audio, video also. Right. But in a standardized form, that's very important. That's your editability. Then playback device flexibility. Here what happens? You have to convert the information into appropriate format. We may have, so when you uh, have uh, an audio or a video, you compress, you send it to the other side, it gets decompressed. But it has to be played. So, that particular format which is available there must uh, support this particular uh, decompressed video or audio. So, that is very, very important. So, conversion of information into the formats appropriate for playback. So, that is very important. So, the, for this, there must be a communication between the client and the server. So, that we are able to 
convert to the desired format. Thank you.